Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel today. We've got another review on the league earn number two player, Dario Benedetto. We're going to be going through the player, his card, detail stats, uh, clips, summary, what you guys need to do to get your hands on him and all that good stuff in between. Before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below what your thoughts are on this card and if you'll be completing this grind. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, this is the team that I played, the league earned number two player, Dario Benedetto, and I played him at the top in front of Dybala, uh, Roberto Pereira, please do check out that review as well, and Angel Di Maria on the right. Now guys, I didn't feel the need to move him from that striker spot, and my first impressions of this card, I absolutely love this card, this card is a phenomenal card, played really well for me, and I got a really good result out of him as well, so overall guys, I did think this card played very well for me, he suits that striker role as well guys, even though some of his stats may not be the best, however, let's just get straight into it Dario Benedetto 5'10 high low work rates right footed three star scrum moves five star weak foot six games played 12 goals scored and two assists so you guys can see here already there's a bunch of stuff we like here good height 5'10 high low work rate perfect for a striker right footed three star skill moves not ideal we would like maybe one more for you skillers out there but the five star weak foot is phenomenal and you guys will see a number of left foot finishes that he manages to pull off as well. The six games played 12 goals scored and two assists just illustrates how prolific this guy was for me. Um, two of those include rage quits after he scored one goal as well, so I feel like he would have scored more as well. I put the engine chemistry style on him, guys. I didn't feel like I wanted to change that up at all. I thought the engine suited him very well, and it was the right one for him. Uh, the Hunter may have done him a bit better, but overall, I just think the engine worked the best. In terms of key stats, we've got that shot power, that finishing, that attack positioning, all sensational. And that's really the core of it, guys, along with that 93 composure is you want your striker to be good at the finishing elements. He's also great at jumping and great at heading accuracy as well. He's able to do all the striker elements of this card, which is really nice. And therefore, all you need to fix is the other more technical elements of this card, which means that it's not like you're having to fix what he has to do as his main job. Um, coming into the weaknesses of this card, guys, the agility and the balance are a little low. His dribbling is a little bit stiff. Um, his acceleration and sprint speed are a little low as well. It needs a little bit of a boost. And his long shooting and passing is just okay. Um, it could be better. But overall, guys, I didn't really see how this held him back too much. Overall, I thought this card did brilliantly and played brilliantly for me as well. Didn't really have too many complaints in terms of the cons, given the engine chemistry style managed to mask a lot of those as well and cover his, where his flaws were. The engine chemistry style managed to mask that. And I think whatever chemistry style you do choose to put on this guy, he will be able to do that. Now getting into his traits, you've got the finesse shot trait, long shot taker, and the outside of the foot shot trait. No chip shot trait. We would have had a perfect four of four, but three of four traits are still pretty good. And it's a lovely set of traits to have on this type of card as well. And now that we've covered all that, we're going to get into what you need to do to get your hands on this card. Card. So guys, to get your hands on this Dario Benedetto card, you need to do five things. Win 15 matches using Liga and players, uh, 11 Liga and players in the managerial masterpiece, uh, 30 goals with Liga and players, 20 assists with Liga and players, four outside of the box goals with Liga and players, and six finesse shots with Liga and players. So overall, guys, I think this is pretty easy. The only thing, of course, as well, is you will have to do this in the managerial masterpiece, which is 77 rated squads with uh, no more than three silvers, I believe it is. Um, so the only one I think that you really have to struggle with, and it is a bit of an arduous time, as per usual with these league players, is win 15 matches in the managerial masterpiece. Otherwise, guys, I think this is a fairly easy card to do, um, especially with some of the league and players you can stick in there. They're quite usable, low-rated league and players. Uh, so this card should be fairly easy to grind out. Uh, one thing that I would recommend you guys pay attention to as well is that these outside-of-the-box ones and these finesse ones need to be done with league and players. They can't be done with someone else who's brought in off the bench uh, i made that mistake bringing cruyff off of my bench to use him to complete these objectives of course you need to use league and players to complete those but otherwise guys there aren't really any pitfalls of this one fairly simple to get your hands on this Ber benedetto and having covered all of that we're going to go into some of the clips that i got with him so guys, getting into some of Dario Benedetto's clips and what you guys are going to see here is his overall attacking capability. Now guys, I was thoroughly impressed with how good this card was in terms of just being able to do everything uh, away from the ball in terms of being an attacker. Now the first thing I wanted to cover with this card is something that you may not expect me to cover with this card, but it's something important that I feel needs to be discussed about it, and that is his defensive work rate and defending. Now guys, ultimately this is manually controlled 
and you will have to do this of course by yourself but what i did find with this card was i was able to close down people incredibly quickly and he puts in a lot of effort defensively despite the fact that he has a low defensive work rate it was a weird one for me guys it was like he was tracking runs well getting into the right spaces to intercept the passes and did an overall good job defensively as well now whether that's just because of his fantastic positioning that remains to be found out but i think that was something that really did impress me about this card as well considering what his work rates do now getting into the next part of it which is for me the biggest pro of it all of course his shooting we will discuss it a little bit later as his goals start to flow into the gameplay clips as well but overall guys i would say i'm very impressed with this card's prowess up front um, i think he's very dangerous and what people don't expect from this card is very good finishing because it is a league player people don't respect the card as much and i think that really does lead to a lot of space a lot of opportunity and you can create good chances with this card as well and i think after that realization of how people realize how good this card is and how well it can play will people start to respect it a little more for its finishing capability now guys getting into the next factor of this card which is his dribbling i did like his dribbling overall i thought it was okay i didn't think it was anything spectacular but it's very serviceable and that's all i'm looking for in my strikers to be honest with you i know the game the stage of the game that we're at is fairly late into it and you would expecting a card to be able to dribble reasonably well now bear in mind guys this is a league player so we can't have it all but overall i do think he's able enough to create space for himself to create goal scoring opportunities and then of course the shooting behind it to finish those chances as well so his dribbling for me very decent as well and um, that same kind of ideology goes for his passing and um, his passing was very good as well and his movement overall was fantastic you guys are going to see how well he did now this is that finesse trait coming in there and there's another one of that it's almost a carbon copy guys that comes up somewhere in the clips as well overall really good at just everything in the striking department you guys can see some of my emotion as some of these results are being played out as well his attack positioning brilliant there peels off the man uh, gets into a good space his pens not the best but overall it's still above 80 which is usable and that's fine for me as well um, overall guys as well i think his running in general really did impress me and this finish was simply special i mean it was just on the mark on the money in terms of positioning and placement as well um using the left foot and the right foot of course is fantastic as well being able to use it with both feet really is a big plus this left foot one right here and in this final clip here guys you're going to see again just another finish which is really sort of in the same vein turning into space and smashing it into the back of the net so guys getting to this final dario benedetto summary uh, of course doesn't cost you guys anything to do just your time it depends how you think you can best use that time as well to get players in and around your squad uh, of course one of the strengths of this card guys and a lot of the strength actually of this card is his shooting phenomenal in that stat category there the long shots are okay but i didn't really feel like they were that bad 30 yards inwards i thought this card was very usable and very good just in terms of being able to finish chances as well his dribbling does need boosting uh, his pace does need boosting and his passing does need work as well but i think as far as strikers go what you couldn't ask for more of is the finishing and the composure i think that's really nice to have and then you can build off the back of that to really help this card out and get it a bit better in terms of my recommended chemistry style therefore guys i would again suggest what i used which is the engine you see what that does to his card it boosts the passing really good passing level now really great pace level and really great dribbling however if you guys would use something else and this of course is subjective to how you guys play let me know what you guys would choose as well um, getting into the similar sort of players now guys this player is very small uh, capable player and he's not super quick but he's very reasonable at what he does I th this card actually reminds me a lot of the of the prime del piero not the other versions because these are a lot quicker um especially on the dribbling side of things but i think this prime del piero because del piero does have a bit of stickiness to him in terms of how he dribbles i actually do think this dario benedetto has a lot of similarities to that card um which may sound crazy because this is a free card and that is an, a 700 plus k icon but i do think he does have certain similarities uh, to this card in general next guys getting into the link ability he doesn't have he has one perfect link sorry to balerdi but in terms of strong links uh those are mostly two icons uh other players of note are icardi 
Di Maria, uh, the Shapeshifter card, of course, as well as a regular card. And then, of course, the Marseille players in Florian Tovan, Road to the Final Sandstorm. Please do check out that review if you haven't seen it. Amavi also has a review, guys. Uh, those cards both link into him as well. Um, and other than that, we don't really have any others, but it's a nice card to link across leagues as well. If you remember, you get some Argentinian players, especially that What If Pereira that we looked at in the team earlier. Uh, Paulo Dybala's there as well. There's a whole host of Argentinian players across leagues that you can link him into and use him in your squads with. Which leads me on to my final recommendation as to whether I would recommend you grind out this card or not. Guys, I think this card is really great. Um, I'll definitely be keeping him on my bench as my super sub striker to bring on to try and get a goal from me. I think he's very good at all the elements of finishing that I want him to be good at. He's not necessarily the fastest, the most technical player, but what he can do and what he should be able to do and what every striker should be able to do is finish chances. And that's the most important thing for me in these players. And that's why I love this card. And I would 100% recommend grinding out this card. It's far better than the level of cards that we were getting before. Um, Mole was a good card, don't get me wrong, but this Benedetto is another level up. And show and we should expect that given the stage of FIFA we're at, but it definitely is a level above. I would recommend you guys grind that out. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, please do smash that like button. And until next time, I will see you all in a bit.